what are the reasons we need to educate the physicians? Because the system is set up the way it is because it's so separate between a dentist who is the physician. You know, we, I learned in physicians of the mouth, physicians of the jaw, physicians of the maxillofacial oral structures. Uh, whether you're just a newbie general dentist right out of school or whether you're a you know, eight year trained oral maxillofacial surgeon after dental school, uh, to a greater or lesser degree, you are the physician of this region and you should be, and you should be proud of it and you should learn as much as you can about it. Um, and the more you learn about it, uh, the more uh, satisfied you'll be with your, with your profession. But um, the system is set up where the medical community and the dental community don't communicate. Unless you happen to have a friend that's a physician or a physician is friends with a dentist. And then it's all social over the golf course. Medicine does not communicate with dentistry and dentistry does not communicate with medicine. Unfortunately, that's what it's been since I began my career. So the system is set up where the patient is actually abused by the system. I think you can see how that can occur and it is fact. Um, what triggered me to do this podcast today was a patient I saw this week, which was similar to patients I have seen a hundred times. 